Hello and welcome friends. In the previous lecture, we studied the effects of our decision of increasing the selling price by 10% or rupee 1 on these various things or factors. Now, in this lecture, we are going to study the effect of our decision of decreasing selling price by 10%. Yes, first of all, revise selling price. At present, it is rupees 10 per unit. Now we are going to decrease it by 10%. So now it will be rupees 9 per unit. The first effect of this decision will be on contribution per unit. Contribution will be now rupees 9 minus 6 variable cost. Selling price minus variable cost. 9 is the revised selling price, but the there will be no effect of change in selling price in the variable cost because variable cost changes as the effect of one or more external forces only. So the contribution will be now rupees 3 per unit against the 4 at present. So it has decreased. The first effect of change in selling price is always on the contribution per unit. Now the changed contribution will automatically change or rather change contribution as well as selling price will change the PV ratio, profit volume ratio. That will be now contribution per unit 3 divided by selling price per unit 9. The formula is contribution upon sales revenue. It is now 3 and 9 respectively per unit. So it comes to one third if we multiply it by 100 it comes to and one third percent so it has also decreased now break even point and first break even sales quantity what is the formula of break even point fixed cost upon contribution per unit fixed cost is unchanged rupees 30,000 but the contribution is now rupees 3 per unit so, the break even point is now 10,000 units. That means the firm has only break even in the existing say, period of time. If we consider break even sales revenue, it is 10,000 units into rupees. 9 so it is rupees 90,000 but we should consider that now the sales revenue will not remain 100,000 or 1 lakh because we have decreased the selling price to 9 rupees from 10 so the existing sales will be 10,000 units and 90,000 units that is break even point itself. So at present the company is at break even point. Exactly at break even point. So the result will be reflected in the margin of safety. See what happens to the margin of safety. Sales minus BEP. Sales is or marginal margin of safety quantity sales 10,000 BP also 10,000 so now at present margin of safety is 0 BP has increased so the margin of safety has decreased if margin of safety in terms of quantity is 0 it must be zero in terms of revenue also so we are not we are going to calculate in terms of sales revenue just for the purpose of say making the concept clear into the student's mind what is the sales it is now 10,000 units into rupees 9 what is break even sales revenue it is now 90,000 as we have already calculated here so the scenario is 
existing sales revenue rupees 90,000 minus margin of safety rupees 90,000. So it is zero. That means the company has say already entered the danger zone. Number six, sales to earn profit of rupees 5,000. Required sales will be now we are not going to repeat the formula every time in the solution of the same problem but the formula is fixed cost plus profit upon contribution per unit fixed cost 30,000 plus profit desired is 5,000 and contribution per unit revised is rupees 3 yes so equation is 35,000 rupees divided by rupees 3 per unit so the required sales or revised quantity of required sales to one profit of rupees 5000 comes to 35000 divided by 3 11660 6.67 units now after decreasing the selling price by rupee 1 or 10% if we desire to on a profit of rupees 5000 we have to make sales of 11667 units approximately that means we need to increase our sales because we are at zero profit margin of sales uh, margin of safety is zero that means our profit is also zero we are at break even point itself at present so there is no profit no loss so if we want to earn any amount of profit we need to increase our sales quantity as well as revenue 11,667 I am going to take it because we are selling only we can sell only a perfectly completed unit so it is equivalent to 11,667 into rupees 9 that will give us the required sales revenue required sales revenue I am going to calculate the exact amount 11,667 into 9 that is 105,003 rupees 105,003 rupees or 105,003 rupees see we need to achieve this sales against our existing sales of rupees 90,000 so we need to increase sales revenue by rupees 15,000 approximately and 15,000 will be actually the margin of safety if we reach this level of sales and that 15,000 margin of safety will give us profit at the rate of 33 and one third percent 15,000 multiplied by this one third the profit will be 5,000 now in the next lecture we are going to study the effect of changes in variable cost Yes, in these two cases we studied the effects of changes in selling price. Now we are going to study the effect of changes in variable cost. The existing situation is the same. Because of this we can compare the results. Okay, that's it now. Thank you very much.